Hello children, let us try to understand how to draw the atomic structures of atoms. Uh, starting with the first element that is hydrogen. Before we draw the actual structure of the atom, we need to understand what all are the requirements for drawing the structure of an atom. As you all know that in any atom in the center, there is a nucleus and it has certain number of protons and neutrons and around it are shells which have electrons in them. So to know that, we need to first calculate the number of neutrons, protons and electrons in each of them. So the first step that you need to follow is you need to write the name of the element that is hydrogen. It is represented by the formula H11. So where 1 stands for the atomic number and the 1 in the superscript stands for the mass number. So Z is 1 and A is 1 for the first element. So using the formula Z is equal to P equals to E which is equal to 1, we get the number of protons and electrons as 1 and 1 each. Now since A is 1, though for calculating the masses as we have already done, there are two formulas which are followed. Either A is equal to 2Z, that means the mass is either 2 times the atomic number if the atomic number is even and it is equal to 2z plus 1 if it is an odd number. However, in case of hydrogen, both these formulae are not applicable and it is one of the exceptions. It has a mass of 1. So considering that, we do, do the further calculation. So A is, we know is 1. So using the formula A equals to n plus p or A equals to n plus z, we calculate the number of neutrons which come out to be 1 is equal to n plus 1, n is 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. So neutrons come out to be 0. We have the required number of protons, electrons and neutrons for drawing the structure. What is next that we require? We need to know what is the electronic configuration. That means how are the electrons arranged in different shells. Since it has only one electron, therefore that one electron goes in the first shell that is a K shell. So its electronic configuration is 1. Now we can easily draw the structure of the atom. In the center we have nucleus and inside the nucleus we have protons and neutrons. Since the number of protons is 1 and the number of neutrons is 0. So we write 1p for protons, 0 neutrons for the number of neutrons and in the first shell we show 1 electron. We do not write the number, we show it with the help of a small dot or circle. This is how we draw the structure. Now there is one more very very important point here that the outermost shell of the atom. Here we have outermost shell as the K shell and the number of electrons present in this K shell is 1. So there is a term that we use for the outermost shell and that is known as valence shell. Valence shell of hydrogen is the K shell and valence shell is known as the outermost shell of any atom and the number of electrons which are present in the outermost shell are known as valence electrons. Therefore, the valence electron of hydrogen is 1. So, this is how we actually come to the conclusion and come to draw the structure of hydrogen atom.